Hi. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another college week in my life. If you're new, my name is Mackenzie and I'm a study abroad student at Kent State University's Florence campus. And we are getting down to the last month of college week in my life. I can't believe it. Like this semester has just flown. It is currently November 7th and we leave December 15th. So we're getting down to the final few weeks. We got back from Barcelona last night, Lauren and I, and we had a great time. We didn't get home until like one in the morning, but it is 8.30 right now and we are getting ready to head off to class. We've got a full week this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday classes. And then Friday, we actually have a school field trip to Prato. I'm just gonna leave that in this vlog. So it'll be a little bit longer, but yeah we went from like one extreme to the next last week when we left it was like 75 and i was wearing like dresses and then this morning it's literally 40 degrees so i'll show you my outfit in a second all bundled up but yeah i have felt a little like just kind of disconnected from you guys like i don't really know all that's going on in your life um especially like being countries apart so if you guys could just like leave a comment, let me know where you guys are, what's up in your life right now, what season of life you're entering, um, just kind of how you're feeling. Maybe if you're post-grad, some words of wisdom for the last month of college because I'm definitely starting to feel very antsy about it and just like very nervous about not really having a set plan for January and things like that. I'll talk a little bit about it um, later and maybe do a Q&A this week, but yeah. All right, let's have a week. Okay, this is what I'm wearing to class today. I've got on like my favorite long sleeve bodysuits from Amazon. They're like the best skims dupes. I'll leave this link down below. I have it in a bunch of different colors. It's like a light pink. And then I've got this scarf on. It also has some pink in it, which I really like. And then it has like a bunch of other neutral colors. And then I've got on this shacket from Shein. Honestly, I think I'm gonna be cold even with this on. It's like pretty thick, but it's pretty cold outside right now, but I don't want to wear another jacket. So I've got new jeans on from Express. I just got these. They're like straight legs. They fit me really, really well. And I just have them cuffed right now. I'll also leave these linked because I know they're on sale this week. And then I've got my Steve Madden Hutch boots, my favorite boots here. So yeah, let's go to class. Are your hands up? Are excited for another week? Woo! <laughs> She's not excited. No hands up. I'm excited. I just can't go ahead. Tell them about your new scarf, Lauren. Lauren bought this scarf in yeah, Barcelona we Airport. Wait, did you show this store in the airport? Mm -hmm. We yeah, I got this scarf at the little store we found, and I was I loved everything there, but I couldn't. She find wanted anything. she wanted a scarf because she was like, oh, like it might get cold, and then literally we woke up this morning, <laughs> and she's like, I think today I need the scarf. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, Olivia's so smart. Ninety. my test back in Italian and I got a 98 and then submitted an assignment for my Italian fashion class and then worked on my project for fashion media and now I am grabbing lunch. Lauren and Olivia and I are trying a new spot today called Rosalia and you like go in and make your own salads. It was super busy in there so I wasn't able to get any vlog footage but um, I got their Mexican bowl and a smoothie looking. Like, not done yet. Doesn't that look amazing? It's like chicken, tomato, avocado, lime, chip, and then I got this little smoothie. It's so good. I'm excited. Liv got chicken Caesar salad, right? And what's your juice? Your smoothie? Green smoothie. Lauren got... It's called, it's called something specific. It's just like mozzarella, tomatoes, olives. Croissants. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. And then she got the energy. It has like maca powder, banana, apple. I got the Rosalia. This is really good. I like the guac. Um, this room is giving Endo one energy today. <laughs> All right, we just tried that new place. All right, if you want a, a salad, a real like lettuce salad, this is one of the only places to go because it's hard to get like a salad out with stuff on it like um, you can get a salad out but it's literally lettuce and carrots and that's it I yeah 
And a lot of them have vinaigrette. Lauren effed up and she got mom with vinaigrette, so hers wasn't that good. Almost all of them had vinaigrette. But mine did. Had but they had Caesar and she said it was mine was I like don't eat Caesar. Mine it's but like I didn't look they had a list of dressings and I just I didn't even see that it had Caesar on it. I was just like, Can I get the chicken salad? And they're like, You want Caesar on it? I was like, sure. How was it? That was alright. It wasn't any like nothing special. But anyways, well I really have been a bad YouTuber and I have not. Yeah, you suck. I'm not following you. I have had so many people unsubscribe to me. Do you guys like hate me or something now? It's been kind of disheartening to be honest. How is his? I thought that we were gonna hit it. I thought I was gonna hit. Not. I didn't think. Like I thought it was unrealistic, but I didn't think it was gonna be that far off that I hit a hundred thousand subscribers while I'm here, and we're about twenty five thousand off of that. So uh, it's looking like it's not gonna happen. Which is okay, because I'm grateful for the people that are watching me still, and my views are still, you know, about the same people are sticking, staying loyal. You should do a series of, like, a weekly chat with Into Alana. It's just all of our clips of us sitting here talking about stupid shit. It is. It's like, have you ever watched one have of our videos? I know. That's all it is. <laughs> I mean, what? But, like, take out the school and all the other stuff. And just start chatty. Like a little chat hour. I talked about it like a couple vlogs ago, but N201 is, was the name of our old apartment. But I just never referred to it or the four of us, Krista, um, as N201 just for like safety. Like I didn't want people to know where we live. But now that we don't live there. Now we don't live there. You can go find out who does. Yeah. Now that we don't live there, um, I feel like I can say N201 and like refer to it. So anyways. All right, so yeah, because I'm being a bad YouTuber, uh, I still haven't got my Switzerland vlog up, and so that means I'm now three videos behind. So I'm going to, uh, the checks are running right now, and I'm gonna publish that. So every year, once the daylight savings hits, there's just something in the air. There's something in the air that makes me unproductive and when we get home from class, I just have to like sit and be on some other level. Like today was the day. something else is in the air, is in the water and today was one of those days. Like I was really trying to be productive, but it just wasn't happening. And I don't know why, cause it's the middle of the day. Someone's car is not starting. <laughs> Um, but it's funny because our daylight like, savings happen a week before, like it, America. It, so no, like it's affecting everyone in America right now. But like we, it's, it's been the same yeah. for a week. So anyways, we're off to class. We have luxury market with Simone. 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 Maybe he'll say hi to the vlog today. Come here. Come here. Will you tell my followers hi? Come here. I'm shy. What? Why? Tell them hi. Hi. <laughs> Tell them what you teach us. I teach a course that is called the Luxury Market. And tell them why you should take this class because a lot of a lot of Kent State students watch this. So tell them why they need to take your class when they come here. This class talks about the little you know, alternative way of doing marketing, not traditionally the marketing of mass market, the marketing of luxury company. The marketing is more human. There is more like done by a small medium organization caring about the customer caring about the supplier caring about their employees this is the luxury that we hope that would be increasing in the next years and here we have a lot of like medium small organizations that can, you can take as an example of this way of doing luxury more than you know, in other countries, the states where all the companies are big and, you know, mass market is definitely more and what, developed. And what makes you a better professor than everyone else here? No, this <laughs> I can't answer this. Okay. All right, bye, my Simone. Ego, no. we'll, we'll I'm see. trying to lower down my ego, if you ask me I, I feel that no, no. Okay, well, we'll see no. you when. The thing is that I like what I do. What I can say is I like to stay with students, I like to spend time with them, and I like what I do. This usually helps because when you do a job that you don't like, it's, you know, it's tough. It never goes the day. And I enjoy then when I have students like this, it's even <laughs> easier. <laughs> what if we have class down here instead? 
Oh yeah. Oh, my bad. Are you? All right. Bye. Bye bye. Make sure you take a bite of each side. Okay, guys, we're getting a gelato today. Here, I'll I'm getting a surprise. Here, I'll give you a spoonful of each flavor. I feel like I've been getting the same few things, so I want to switch it up. Okay, okay, mouth. Watch it. Wait, watch out. Step four. Step four. Step four. That's flavor one. <laughs> That's Cremino. <laughs> yep. I always get that, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but this is number two. <laughs> guys, this isn't a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> um, what kind do I want? Mm. Visco? Visco. And can I do the small with the coffee mm. and the chocolate, please? Oh. This is what I usually get. <laughs> Cheers! What'd you get? Coffee and chocolate. So now it's chocolate coffee. Interesting. Okay, friends, let's talk about a couple of things. Just got out of the shower. First things first, I got a new hair mask. And I'm not 100% sure the name of this brand, but you know what it is. Like, I love their stuff. I use their shampoo and conditioner usually when I go to the beach. And when we were in Barcelona, I found this hair mask that's coconut miracle oil. Drench dry damaged strands with the secret of Maui, this ultra rich reviving blend with coconut oil, essence of TR, and vanilla bean extract helps to soften and revive strands for silky soft island girl hair. It smells literally so good. It smells just like sun bum, but in conditioner form. So I just used this. I washed my hair today. My hair has been like in desperate need of TLC here. So I'll have to keep you guys posted on how um, it is. I showered early. Like it's like only like six right now, but I wanted to give my hair ample amount of time to dry before going to bed. I'm wearing my new pajamas from Brandy Melville too, like the little like boxer shorts and then this little tank top. Cute. Um, and now I'm just like drenching my face in CeraVe healing ointment. I've still been going strong with this guy and I've been using the Tula. I use Tula a lot, like pretty much every day at some point during the day. I really like their Glow Get It Brightening Eye Balm. And so I put that on usually like once a day, either in the morning or at night. Um, but this stuff I swear by, like when my skin, usually on a Monday when I get home from like either being on a plane, a train, some type of automobile, my skin is like disgusting, like it's so dry, it like literally hurts. So I will like lather this stuff on. I've been doing this for years. If you watch my videos, you know I talk about it all the time. But literally like cake it on, especially underneath the eyes and around your lips. This is like basically the equivalent. It's not the equivalent to Vaseline, but it's kind of like the same texture and you'll look really greased up but i swear to god you wake up in the morning and your skin's like a baby's butt so i use that and then oh i've been using this bubble mask i posted this on my instagram not that long ago um and i've been using this as well but this has a much lighter weight feel it's like a completely different feeling this feels like putting moisturizer on and just going to bed and then in the morning you just like rinse off your face this feels like sticky vaseline like grease but it works and you can put this anywhere. Like I use it on my elbows and my cuticles and like pretty much everywhere. I'm almost out. I hope Sam can bring me some when she comes to visit cause um, I'm not gonna have enough to get me through the rest of the year. And then um, this Babe Lash Duo. I use their essential serum and their enhancing conditioner together. I try to do it morning and night and it, I swear to God, this makes your eyelashes so long. The only reason why I feel like we haven't been looking as long recently is because I haven't been doing it every single day. I've only been remembering to do it like when I'm home and I spend like half the week living out of a suitcase. So I need to start bringing this with me like when I am living out of a suitcase because when you use this every single day, literally even just for like two weeks, it makes such a difference. But anyways, all right, I'm hopping into bed now. I needed to get the outside dirt off of me but I want to finish getting today's blog posts and YouTube videos live, but it's very cold here. And so I don't have like a blanket and we don't have a couch. So like I wanted to like get under my covers, but I didn't want to be dirty. So yeah, that's the plan. I just love my new pajamas. They're like short. They're like supposed to be. I think they're so cute. 
Okay, Lucerne, Switzerland travel guide is finally live. This took me entirely too long. I'm having some issues focusing today. <laughs> Um, but it's okay because the important thing is that I got it live finally a week later and it turned out really well actually and then I also got my travel vlog live so now I'm going to post my Instagram picture and wrap up work for the day. I'm currently re-entering my pesto tomato mozzarella obsession and cooking chicken and rice for dinner and lunch tomorrow. All right, it's no gourmet five-star, five-course meal. But it'll do. Morning, guys! It's Tuesday, getting ready to go to class. I just like dropped off the face of the vlogging earth last night. I talked to Mike while I ate dinner for like an hour and a half. And then I came in to bed, scrolled on TikTok, went to bed. So now, ready for class. We're in a chunky sweater from Shein. I have this in a bunch of colors. I love it, it's my favorite. I'll leave it linked down below. Um, jeans from Revolve, black boots from Boo Boo, and then I've got on a scarf, little tote bag with my stuff. Only got two classes today. Tuesdays are my easy day. They're not for Lauren, which is why she's chugging an energy drink. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Let's go. Just got home from my morning class, which is European study tours, and today we had a whole like discussion slash video on the circular fashion cycle, and then I walked home. I have like a two hour break today, it's like my shorter break, but I just heated up some leftovers from last night to eat for lunch, and then I'm gonna get a weekly wrap up published, so. Gotta keep the grind up. Okay, well just got out of Italian fashion and it's officially busy season for me. So it's giving freshman Mackenzie energy. Um, yeah, except this was right down the street and now we live like half a mile away. There's literally no shot that we can get this home. So just call it a taxi. This is the last of the work basically that I'll have while living here in Florence. So lots of new clothes for the girls. And then Sam is gonna take a bunch of this home and and stuff like that, but she <laughs> all right. Our sweet little taxi took us home with all that stuff, and all of us just sat in a circle and unboxed one. I've got like an order of like Thanksgiving type of stuff coming your way, and then I've got some basics and some stuff for Paris, Amsterdam, upcoming trips, and then another box of stuff for like Christmas time. Like I said, this is my busy season, but I just went through and made some space in my closet. I gave both girls a bunch of stuff and that I actually put together a box that I'm gonna bring to a donation center here. Just one box worth of stuff um, of a lot of different dresses and things like that that we all wore pretty much like all um, August, September long while we were here. So well loved. I've got some Princess Polly, some Pepper Mayo, some Shein. Um, a bunch of good brands in here and I'm just gonna try to find a spot that I can donate this to um, like a thrift store or something like that and then if no one can I'm gonna bring it to the school and just let um, some fellow classmates dig through it so yeah and then I'm basically I came here with a full-size suitcase and a carry-on and then I have like my little Vera Bradley duffel. I am gonna need to buy like one more suitcase probably to bring everything home. Um, so I'm thinking that I'm gonna send Sam home with one when she comes to visit and leaves cause she leaves here November 30th and we leave December 15th. So it'll be like two weeks before I'll probably just give her some stuff. But we are like rearranging the room. Lauren's putting her summer clothes underneath of her bed. I'm hanging up some jackets. It's just a lot's happening in here right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Lauren and I were so sick of the same two nail polishes that we brought here that when we were in Barcelona, we bought this Essence nail polish called Wow Coco. And I've never used their nail polish, but I actually really like it. It's kind of like it was literally $1.99. The lighting is like really weird in here, so I don't really know if you can see it. It kind of looks like that grayish color on camera, but in person it's like more of like a chocolatey brown and I actually really like it. It's cute. Ignore my pinkies, but I like it. So it's taken me a lot longer to get through this YouTube video than I expected because it's been a while since I had a 50 minute vlog, but this has to be one of the funniest videos I've edited in a really long time. If you haven't watched this one yet, please do watch yourself it. a favor and just skip just skip to 26 minutes. It is literally so funny. <laughs> okay, got my weekly wrap up up. I usually post these on Mondays, but I was a little behind on my Switzerland content. So I uploaded the travel guide yesterday and today the weekly wrap up went up and I edited and uploaded my vlog. So another new 50 minute video waiting for you to watch. We're having a true Mackenzie kind of day. Now we're getting ice cream, gelato, and um, they're only gonna be open, guys, like another 10 days. So I'm trying all the flavors I have. I'm getting pistachio, and then this yogurt pistachio. Look at, so good. Cheers, Olivia. Second one of me. <laughs> okay, everybody, I just showered and I put on my new shirt that I got from Brandy Melville, Los Angeles, California. I'm wearing the same little shorts that I had on yesterday. And it's time to make some dinner. Let's go in the flower room. <laughs> Olivia and Lizzie changed up their room today. What's up, girl? What's up? Ready to have some pasta? And you are just craving my potatoes. You're like, Olivia, make your potatoes for me, please. Because you're just the best cook ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. 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 Okay. So then it's a button that you can't get copyrighted because we're always, you know, like only four words. I don't know what words are coming out of your mouth right now, but um, we're having pasta and potatoes, thanks to Liv. But they don't taste as good as they usually do. I don't know. I used a different trend. I didn't see them in the mouth. And we're out of parsley. Mm. Triple threat. Mm. We're watching old vlogs while we eat dinner. Like white docks on. Look at Olivia. She looks like a baby. White docks on. <laughs> and then I got like little sheer black socks. Okay, we're having a wholesome roomy movie night because we are going to... Budapest, awesome. Vienna, and Salzburg. Not this weekend, but next weekend. And we're doing the Sound of Music tour. And I've actually never seen the Sound of Music, but it's like Lauren's, one of her favorite movies. So, you guys love my so we're watching this so that I can be just as excited as her. All right, quick outfit of the day before class. I've got on black salad bodysuit and then these fun new overalls from Shein. I've got on my Steve Madden sneakers. Black tote bag I've been carrying like literally every day. Then some fun Goriana necklaces mixed with that Abbott Lion M. My new Abbott Lion bracelets I'm going to be wearing every day from here on out. And then electric picks. So, super cutie. Another day in paradise, ladies and gents. Three classes today. But Olivia and I are going to lunch in between. So oh, yeah. We're excited. All right, learning clothes in Italian, just got out and now headed to class number two. And then the La Chapelle, it's super popular for having introduced pop culture or having mixed the idea of pop culture with uh, fashion and other stuff. Of any particular color, uh, many all right, we have ventured off to today's lunch spot, which is called Gusto Leo. They have pizza, pasta, just like true Italian. And Liv and I both got a drink. I got a limoncello. She got a Paloma. Cheers. Good food. Better friendship. All right, now Liv is trying to convince me to sign up for a 5K in Florence. I said, Olivia, 
I couldn't even tell you the last time I ran 100 meters, and you want me to run two and a half miles? No, 3.1 is the 5K. Yeah. 3.1 miles. And she goes, no, we can walk it. No, the 5K is like an actual walk, and it's to raise <laughs> money for cancer. So and we walk over three miles a day to begin with. So do you think so, that we should do it? Yes, I think it would be a fun story to tell. Like, for the clock. How much is the 10K? Like, can you walk the 10K too? It's, okay. So, for some reason, the 5K doesn't sound appealing to me, but like, if I was gonna go all in, like, I'd walk a 10K. But I don't, only have Converse here, so I'd have to be walking a 10K in Converse. Well, wait, I'll have my mom <laughs> in there shoes. Here's the flyer. All right, if any of you guys are studying abroad in Florence right now, sign up for the December 8th 5K. $10 with competition pack, $2 with no competition. So $2 to sign up, and it'll be our last week here. What day is it on? A Thursday. What time? We might be gone. We might be in Amsterdam. Oh, no, it's no, the week before. It's the week Should we text after. Jules? Jules is going to be here that weekend. Should we say, Jules, do you want to walk a 5K with us? <laughs> Give me her phone number, and I will text her and be like, we're doing a 5K when you're here. We're doing a 5K, and Jules. You heard it here first. All right, first course, we got some cacio and pepe. It's been a while since we've had it. We had this in Siena, and I loved it, so that's why we got it today. I'm excited. But I think this is my favorite I've ever had. The noodles are so good. They're like so thick and homemade. There's a perfect amount of pepper on there. Right. Two pizzas on deck. We got the buffalo mozzarella per waiter's recommendation. And then we're trying this pumpkin cream burrata one. Olivia and I have been on a big burrata kick and then this is bacon. Florence has like expanded my food palette so much. Like I'm like excited and like eager to try new things here and I wasn't really like that in America. And then we also got the roast potatoes which we've already had quite a few of. We're very good. We told them to surprise us with the cheesecake and they brought strawberry and that's kind of what I was hoping for. Um, Olivia also got an espresso, which if you didn't know, is commonly eaten. Drink. Drinking after you eat a meal. Yeah, it's like dessert. Even like after dinner, which is so weird to me. It's like that's what had me wired after dinner. Olivia's having it now so that we can go work on our luxury market project after this. You can never have too much caffeine. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think about your meal? I think that my pants have to stay unbuttoned for a minute. I would give my meal a nine. Pasta, my one of my favorite pastas I've had here. I thought the pest or the pumpkin. I thought the pumpkin pizza was better than the buffalo, and I thought the cheesecake was incredible. Cheesecake, probably my favorite dessert I've had here, besides like you know our typical everyday wow. gelato. Um, pasta was good, not the best I've had here. Pizza, good. Like I, it was all really good, but like I. It wasn't the best you've ever had? No. I would give You know where we my need to food, go. I would give my food a nine out of ten. I thought it was great. We need to go I need we I've been you and I need, need to, to go, go to the pear ravioli place. Like yeah. that's the best pasta I've ever had in my entire life. Like wow. cream in your pants good. <laughs> We're gonna have to go. Um, look at how orange I look next to Olivia. I have no self tanner on my face. I was just. I am so pale. I was thinking this morning. Yeah, but like I don't look tan next to you. I just look orange next to you. You just have a more a different I have skin an tone. Olive complexion. Come here, Dale. Guys, there were two um, workers <laughs> outside. <laughs> and like right outside of our street, and they were like and doing construction, and like, they were like up high, like on a ladder thingy. And they were like, Waiting it was for like us. one of those rope things where you like pull down and it like moves the paint. A pulley. Like, yeah, like a pulley. And I was like, hit me. Like, just like, at, like, I was kidding. Like, it was really, and then I didn't realize that they were going to know what I said. And they like started bursting into laughter and it was just like it was one of those a domino moments. effect. Like, yeah. Well, like, I found it funny, but like, I didn't like, expect them to hear us either. It was funny. I need to get my eyebrows done. I need to I do did something too. to my I eyebrows. I was thinking about getting them done. Like, look how big my eyebrows are. <laughs> like, I got, like, like... them. They, like... You don't pluck your eyebrows? No. Well, that's why they're big and bushy. But, like, I don't know how to pluck them and get, like, shape. 
you need to pluck i pluck my eyebrows like every four days because they get like really overgrown right here no if you I, with one of those little face razors on the bottom right here yesterday we watched my freshman year vlogs and my eyebrows were so thin freshman year and then so are mine sophomore year they were so thick i feel like they're finally like a shape that's just like normal See, mine were really thin because that's when I used to get them threaded. And now, like, I haven't gotten anything done to my eyebrows in, like, two years. Like, I'll just, like, trim them myself. Comment if after our 10K, we should <laughs> go get our eyebrows done. All right, we've really got to go work on our project. Oh, my God, your lip tat. I know that's coming up soon. Guys, Olivia has a lip tat. You want, this is when I got it. They don't disappear. <laughs> Also, I've had it for now have, three years, I, and my mom still doesn't know about it. At least you have the word create, and it's not like something inappropriate. No, I wish it said something very dirty that I can't repeat on her channel. I, like, I wish it, like, it would just be so much funnier. Yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure how it came up that I have a red G-string on our way home. No, Olivia goes, how did you come up that I was wearing a G-string with you, overalls? You said, I'm wearing a G-string with overalls. But I don't think I just said oh, it. Oh no, you said I'm wearing a G string. I said you're wearing a G string <laughs> with overalls. And it just happens to be that like this is one of my favorite underwear. Like it's it's so comfortable. And I like to wear it when I have a bodysuit on and I have this is a bodysuit underneath of this. But Olivia just goes, I can't comprehend the fact that you're wearing a G string with overalls. Like you're wearing a, an adult diaper with a G string on. <laughs> so we posted to her private and said G string with overalls on. And a lot of times like on our privates we'll do polls like up or down. And this is Snapchat we're referring to. And I reposted it to my private. And Rocco swipes up and goes, this is too funny. And so now we're like in like our oh, like silly, goofy. taking stupid, silly, goofy, uh, freshman dorm mood. I wish there was a way to get you up there. Bang, bang, it up. So anyways, we'll let you know when he replies and we'll show you our next response. But in the meantime, um, we're going to do, we're going to sit here and be little studious in our G-strings. In the meantime, Case and Alice is a Mosca. This is a brand designed by Alessandra Corsato, a CEO of Slow. <laughs> <laughs> I just cracked. She can't get my legs. Like you're, you're getting pushing them far. Like all the other times you did so good, but this time you're not pushing them far back. <laughs> <laughs> Should we learn to dance? Start spreading the news. Ready? Practice that, ready? Start spreading the news. Around! And then you go, I wanna be a part of it. New York! <laughs> Please tell me that if you are graduating in December as well, you are also this mentally checked out. Like, I don't know what it is. Everything but like, is joking live. The senioritis is kicking like it's never kicked before. Um, yeah, we just got done with our luxury market presentation. It was interesting, but Simone did take a picture with me for Snapchat. I'll insert right. it here. Give me a minute. We're going to respond to Snap. Good. Who's this too? Military boy? Yeah. Anyways, we refer to all of our men as like they get as how we know them or like something about them boy. None of them have first names. Military they boy. They have to do something to deserve a first name so they get called by the first name. Yeah! Alright, right, so should we get gelato? The thing is, I'm not even the slightest bit hungry. I have the pee we can we go later? Like I'm like I'm if it's if if Massimo's there, but I don't know if he'll be, I don't even think Massimo's gonna be there. I think it's the girl. Actually, it's after school time. There's too many children. We'll come back later. On a serious note, I can be checked out of schoolwork, but like I literally can't be checked out of style by work because once you get behind, you know, it's so hard to get back on track. So we're not gonna get behind. Um, I'm in fact, I'm actually gonna shower first. I want to like just feel clean and comfortable And then I'm gonna sit out at the kitchen table and just crank out some work I need to call my manager Chloe just talk through some upcoming sponsorships and then I Need to get a blog post up and then I want to start editing my Barcelona vlog I'm gonna hope to get the Barcelona vlog up tomorrow 
and then I need to post a couple TikToks. So, gonna be a productive evening. Um, taking off my rings right now. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the stack that I've been wearing. Um, I got a whole bunch of new bracelets because my Goriana ones, I lost, I came here with six of them and two of them fell off like literally in the middle of I don't even know which was my own fault and then two of them broke which was also my own fault so no shade to Goriana or their quality I love their stuff but um you know they've been taking a beating here so I ended up getting new bracelets these are from a brand called Abbott Lion and they're waterproof so I'm switching it up I'm giving these a try I got two chains this little heart to match the ring that I usually wear on my middle finger and then I got this little M and the M matches that necklace that I was wearing yesterday right there and I usually take off my bracelets and my rings every single day when I go in the shower but my bracelets I try like I really do try to take them off every day but I end up getting in the habit where I just like leave them on um but these are supposed to be waterproof so I'm gonna just wear them and see how it goes they have two-year warranty so if they do end up tarnishing um, or you know turning anything green I can trade those in so I'll have to keep you guys posted but I really like them so far and I always get a lot of questions on like my dainty jewels um, so yeah oh and then I also have this bracelet on I wear this bracelet pretty much every day I've had it on since the mic days this bracelet has been on since like m middle of sophomore year it's from Daniel Wellington um, like the watch company it's just like a little cuff I used to wear a mantra band one too and then I accidentally left it in California so I haven't been wearing it, but anyways, all right, I'm gonna wash my hair. I know I just washed it the other day. It's really not that greasy, but I really wanna straighten it and I don't know, it just like kind of feels me. Eh. So I'm gonna, I wanna feel clean, you know? So yeah, all right, come back to it in jammies. I swear to God, it feels like I write and fill out my postcards every week and yet I somehow haven't done it since October 5th, since I went to Greece. So I've got quite a few trips to catch up on. I really, really, really wanna get better the last few weeks that we're here about doing this in live time because I think it just means more. But I've got postcards from Africa to fill out. Um, I got two while I was there. I usually pick up a couple while I'm there just so that I have extras to send to people. And then I got four actually in Switzerland because I found these two and then I found these and I liked them better. So I'm actually going to give each day in Switzerland its own just because it was a place that I like really resonated with and loved And then in Barcelona, they have the cutest postcards So I picked up quite a few and I'm probably gonna send a couple of those out I really like this one too. It's kind of like a Polaroid like Instagram photo and then usually like on the sides. I'll write um where we stayed, what days we went, who I was with, and where it was. It's just to kind of, I like collect them, as you guys know, if you watch my videos. So I've got one from everywhere we've been besides Germany, because I forgot to pick one up. So yeah, that's my first task of the day. And then I'm hopping into like uh, all those other things that I said. Guys, look at how cute my postcard collection is coming along. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14. And hopefully you'll have an extra one. Lauren, guys, is like, <laughs> she has it in. She did not want to go to London. She was the one I out of, didn't. she was like, I'm not going to London, but whatever. <laughs> and she booked it. Okay, then when we were supposed to go to London, right after Milan, and we had two canceled flights and a non-refundable Airbnb, and then we had to buy a really expensive train ticket home from <laughs> Milan. It we, was the most expensive trip yet. We, we didn't go on We it. each lost about $550 each on this trip, and Ryan Eric gave us credit for our flight and so Lauren and I are like thinking that we might just go to London this weekend because we can't see what our thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just like, are, like I was not really like super stoked to go to London beforehand, but now that the Christmas markets are happening and stuff, we like keep seeing we it. keep seeing TikToks about it, we're like, all right, maybe we should just go. Um, and we're getting down to the last few weeks, but we would have to miss class on Monday. But Lauren's like, come on, Kenzie, like, let's just go. So there is a chance we're going to go to London. But either way, I'm really glad that we're going to be here on, like, oh, well, well, the thing is, if we go to London, like, I need to know, like, today. Because, like, like kind of, like, in the next, like, there's a lot of factors that have to get, you know, Moved around if we go to London. But so. we're not going until Saturday morning. 
Yeah, but in order to leave Saturday morning, we have to take the last train out Friday night and have a sleepless night on the That's airport. That's fine. We only live once. We only live once, Mackenzie. <laughs> Which is fine. I'm like more than happy to do that. And like, Lauren's right. Like, I'll sleep when I'm dead. My dad always told me it better be tired on someone else's time. And I'm okay with being tired on someone else's time. But I just have a lot of work to get done. And if we get home Monday, that literally means we have Tuesday. And then Sam gets here Wednesday. Yay. So, uh, yeah. Kind of, I don't know. This is a lot. Don't think about it too much. I feel, I feel great and I just wish that I could like have told summer me to just like stop worrying so much because it was gonna work out and like it went, this has gone so much better than I've expected and like even if October was more of a lull in like booking, like thank God because I got to experience so much and like still be so present with my friends here and like I feel like the timing of everything really worked out. So we're gonna be fine. All right, feeling so much better, so much more organized, so much calmer, just more on top of things. Just like overall, anytime that I sit down and have an hour long call with my manager, um, I just feel better. Her and I like just are great friends and vibe so well. I literally could not survive this semester without her. So shout out Chloe. Um, just got off the phone with her. We planned out, mapped out my last month of content while I'm here. Um, some upcoming sponsored deals with brands that I love and have used forever. I have another Walmart campaign, another Lululemon campaign. Um, some fun holiday things coming your guys' way. And I also just published today's blog post, which is what to wear in Barcelona this fall. Really happy with the way that this came together. Short and sweet with just three outfit ideas. But per usual, I've linked everything and photo locations so that you guys can recreate some of these outfits and these of pictures you know if you guys wanted pin this post for later good morning everybody it's thursday it's it's always thursday this thursday came especially quickly it feels like but um getting ready for class thursdays are the day that we like take a school field trip and today olivia and i's group is going to the leather school which lauren said was her favorite thing that they did so i'm excited and after that i should be done at like about noon and i need to come home and just have like a huge content day my goal is to film two different sponsored tiktoks i got some new stuff from kendra scott the other day and i want to film a tiktok with that i'm gonna film another like mini kind of like travel gift guide with my samsonite stuff that i use all the time and then I'm gonna film a few videos with the stuff that came the other day and just kind of bust that out. Um, tomorrow we have a school field trip to Prato and it's like a full day trip, 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. So my goal is to just kind of get ahead today. It's looking like it's supposed to rain, which is unusual. It hasn't rained here in forever. So I'm really hoping that the weather holds out. That way it's not too dark in here, but... We'll see how it goes, but feeling much better after a productive evening yesterday, so yeah, gotta watch the YouTube while you're ready. I just need like an easy outfit for this leather school field trip, so just got on my favorite tank top from Express, same jeans that I was wearing Monday from there. I like desperately need to do my laundry. I only have like a couple pairs of jeans here and most of them are dirty right now. Um, but it takes like four days for our laundry to dry, which is why I've been like so behind on laundry So hopefully I'll do that today. And then this cardigan is from revolve. It's like so soft It feels like cashmere. It's not but I know that it was a pricier cardigan But it's really really cute and then I've just got on my Xena sneakers and I'm just gonna grab a purse to throw my Like wallet keys in you don't really need much on Thursdays, which I appreciate so I'm gonna carry this one Another pulling bag, you know the drill. The fifth and sixth floor of the U.S. Army. They have been our first clients, and finally, thanks to our word of mouth, we have been able to open the president of the United States. We gave him with a death set with, that was totally decorated with gold. 
with the same technique that we still use nowadays. So when the design is all finished, Francesco rubs off the extra bowl with a piece of cotton and the design stays on the leather. Here we are. So as you can see, the coaster is ready and the design is stamped on the coaster. The extra gold that we took off, we will recycle it. All right, really enjoyed the leather school. It was really, really cool. One of my favorite site visits that I think we've done. I'm back home now and I've got a long, long, long list of things that needs to get done um, within the next couple of days. So we're just gonna hit the ground running. I've got my Samsonite luggage out and we're gonna start filming a reel. Probably not going to be coming back to you guys too often right now, um, just because I need to just kind of have a girl boss moment. So I'll recap later. Showing off some new Kendra Scott jewelry. I I literally love this necklace it's got like that longer diamond and all three of these necklaces are like layered together I have a feeling my mom is gonna steal this from me I've gotten so many people kind of Scott jewelry in my life my mom my ex-boyfriend's mom aunt's uncle's sister they have 50% off on your birthday month which is like typically when I buy them but they make perfect holiday gifts as well and then I also got their like matching bracelet and then look at I got this little chain guy too isn't that fun I love. All right, I know this looks like a mess, but it's an organized one. Got everything sorted. Time to start filming try-ons. Okay, just finished filming two hauls. I was gonna film another one, but the lighting is so bad in here that I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna film the other two on Tuesday. Come in, Lauren, come in. Yay! Shut <laughs> What? Lauren's wearing a sweater I gave her today. All right, we both have this, Olivia, I mean, Laura and I both have this sweatshirt in white, and Olivia has it in coral, and it's like my biggest regret not bringing the blue one that I have as well. This is like literally the only sweatshirt I have, and it's kind of like a terry cloth. It's from American Eagle, uh, Aerie, it's from Aerie. Aerie's like one of my favorite brands. That's my dream partnership right there. Mm. Anyways, I'm just wearing this for the rest of the day. This morning's outfit was just like a, it was just a buffer outfit, you know? We are going, me and Lauren are going to dinner tonight together at 6.30. And so I'm going to get dressed into something really cute then and take a picture then. But anyways, I really need to do my laundry because all of my underwear and jeans are dirty. But it's raining out and none of our clothes will dry because we don't have dryers here. And it's just not really going over that well. So Olivia and I are going to take our clothes to the laundromat and we're gonna wash and dry them there. We're gonna have to sit there in between, which is kind of annoying, but it beats four days to have wet, moldy, moldy kind of clothes. So, not with mine. Yep. <laughs> Lauren tried to do her laundry this week and it didn't go over that well, so. They smell like wet. I am so grateful to live in Italy, but that is one thing that, the laundry is one thing that just has been a pain in the rear. So anyways, we're solving that problem. And I'm packing everything into this. Where did someone get this TJ Maxx bag from? Like, there's not a TJ Maxx bag here. It's not TJ Maxx. Oh, I don't know why I thought this said TJ Maxx bag. But, oh, this thing's heavy. All right, but we're gonna go do our wash. I don't even know if I have enough euros to do this. My biggest regret is not bringing, that's another big regret, not bringing more euros here. All right. I gotta get gelato or something to keep me going. I'm gonna pack a bag, gonna bring my little tote bag with my computer in it, my AirPods, cause there's no time to waste today. We have to edit. Because Lauren wants to go to London. So Lauren, your task while I'm gone is to find a way to get to the Rome Champino Airport. Because when Olivia and I flew out of there, we that was the time that we took the train to the wrong airport and then we had to take that like $80 hour long taxi. That's where the flight goes, the Rome. Yeah, it's out of the other one. 
So there is a bus. On the way back, we took a $10 bus from Champino to the train station, but I don't know if it goes there or what times it runs. So that's your tap. Well, had we known that it was gonna cost $9 for my loads of laundry, I would have just washed them at home and dragged them here. Wet, but it's okay. This has been a this was a really interesting learning lesson trying to get these washers to work, but it's okay because we did it. So now we have to wait 30 minutes. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna read my book. Olivia's gonna read her book. What are you reading now? I'm reading. Okay, guys, don't hack into my <laughs> iPad. <laughs> One true loves. Is it good? Yeah, I'm getting I'm 57% through. Wow. There you go. Taylor Jenkins read. Yeah. My girl. edited for a little bit and now Lauren and I are off to dinner it's been a while since we had a dinner date like a week and so we're very excited we're gonna have some pizza maybe some pasta and look we're right by the Duomo so moody me and Tutti Fruity are <laughs> Guys, last week's video was so funny. Nobody even commented. No one commented about how funny Lauren's toot was. Anyways, we're at a place tonight called Livio Pizza, and look at We got two pizzas and a calzone. This is like way too much food for us. The calzone in the picture was like literally half this size. We got a pizza with this. I, I just asked for her favorite. It's called the Nijua Iberata. This is like a traditional Italian kind of pork. And then we got a calzone with ricotta. And then we are trying out that pesto pistachio with bologna kind of pizza. This is super popular. Liv and I had it and it was amazing. And I got an Aperol spritz that's like literally the size of my head. Good eats. I'm so glad yesterday when we got pizza, I brought it home and I had it for dinner and for lunch today. So we're gonna have lots of leftovers for tomorrow night. Cheers, miss. Guys, this stuff on this pizza is so unbelievably good. It doesn't really look like meat, but there's like meat meat ground into it and it's amazing. It's not that spicy. Mm. Alright, then we got tiramisu. This is my first time having it since we've been in Italy. And really? yeah, and her husband makes it every day. Isn't that so cool? Amazing. Is that gonna say? <laughs> you guys, I'm realizing that we came home yesterday and never rated or talked about our pizza, but we had an amazing time. The owner of the restaurant was our like waiter. 
and she like let me go in the back and take videos of them like making the pizza and then putting it in the like wood stove and her recommendation of the pizza was definitely my favorite and then I liked the calzone and I liked the pistachio last but it was really really good like I feel like every pizza here is just like amazing it's so different than pizza we have in America um so just a great night all around we got home pretty early actually like around eight and I just spent the rest of my night um finishing up a vlog and making an Instagram reel and just kind of scrolling and then went to bed around midnight actually kind of late for me but yeah now I'm up and at them we have a field trip this morning for school like I said I really wish we didn't um only because I'm exhausted but it's okay school's like really not that hard here as you can tell just gotta show up so making it happen doing my makeup I need to like Put this in the wash like i've worn this shirt like a hundred days in a row. okay i literally just changed 10 times which i never do in the morning but i just couldn't find an outfit that i really liked i'm not even sure i like love this but i'm sick of changing so this is actually the same sweater um that i wore on tuesday the black one it's just in tan and then i have a black silk skirt underneath of it I've got on socks that match and then these I actually just got they're from Shein and these are literally exact dupes for my Steve Madden Hutch boots they're a little narrower but they look just the same I have the black version at home um, I just don't have them here so I got these and then my little purse is from Pauline I've got on Goriana necklaces and then electric picks rings minus the heart one is from Goriana and then I've got a mix of bracelets from Abbott Lion and Kendra Scott. So wearing all the jewelry brands today, <laughs> switching it up. But yeah, I hope I'm going to be warm enough. It said it was going to be like 70 today. So I figured I would wear a skirt um, just a couple more times. So yeah. All right, we never get pastries in the morning, but we have extra time today. And I'm out of muffins for breakfast. I think I'm going to get that. Look at that. Nutella, but look at that. That looks so good to me. I don't know if I can have that much lemon custard. All right, that donut was good. Big, big fan. Gonna have to go back there one of these days. They had all kinds of other pastries and they had cannolis. Lauren, I bet that's a place where you can try an authentic cannoli. They were in the window. They probably switched them like later in the day to be in that case. Anyways, we're walking over to our bus. I don't even know if I said, but we're going to Prato today. All right, Prato is actually one of the textile centers of Italy. So we spent the morning visiting their textile museum and seeing how different fashion styles evolved over the decades. It was really cool. And then we got to see a bunch of a designer called Aussie's Designs come to life. He was a very popular designer in the 70s. And basically this entire room was dedicated to some of his designs. He was really who revolutionized the plunging neckline the wrap skirt, the button front dress, these huge puff sleeves that we see in a lot of our current styles because obviously what goes around comes around and it was just really cool. All of these textiles were made right here in Prato which was really really cool and then the last thing that we saw were these dresses that were handmade out of different paper coupons. All right, first stop in Prado today was to a textile museum. This was actually like one of the first factories in Prato, Italy. Um, and it was really cool. I really, really liked today's. I'll try to voice over um, what I just saw since I wasn't able to like really talk much while we were there, but it was really cool. So we're actually doing a walking tour of the city now, which should be fun. I'm gonna meet up with Lauren's group, so. Yeah, but look at it. It was really neat here. I liked it a lot. Obviously not like everyone's cup of tea, but if you're into fashion, this was really unique. And you get to see how all the different fibers are made. So if you go to Kent and you've taken fashion fabrics, this will be kind of like a full circle moment. 
Okay, so the last thing that we saw in this museum were these paper dresses, and one of them was made out of all of these old coupons, and it instantly made me think of my aunt. I've talked about my grief journey um, of my aunt's passing quite a bit here on my channel. It will be five years next week, and I feel like with each passing year since her death, I see her in more and more things in my day-to-day -day life, and at the very end of this museum that we were visiting, there was this paper dress, and it was made of all of these coupons and my aunt used to be a huge couponer like extreme coupon level and it just like made me giggle um, her passing was five years ago next week so I was like that's so weird like I'm always thinking of her and so cool to see a piece of her here with me in Italy and then as we were leaving I saw the little gift shop and I typically get a postcard I was like you know it'd be really cool to be able to just like write down um, that small tidbit today and save it for later they didn't have any postcards cards but they did have these cards and if you guys didn't know my aunt used to be a huge card maker she was very popular in the stamping bella world and just in like the card making blogging community in general and so i was like how ironic that they don't have postcards and they only have like actual cards and it's so cute it's got a little girl with a dress on it so cute i love it so it was like 250 and i'm really happy to add this to the collection so just thought i'd share um if you are missing a loved one this holiday season just please know i'm thinking of you i know that it is hard but remember that god is sending you signs of them um every day and in order to see signs you have to be looking for them so go in the church and I was like oh like I wonder like if they have tours going on this is this is just a church that literally nobody's in like I just asked and they do service here on like regular Sundays obviously but like there's nobody here it's beautiful inside look at it. like why did we why did we ever stop having churches like look like this like look at that stained glass There are about five open restaurants in the town of Prato, and we stumbled upon this place that's like super authentic, guys. The whole this is the whole menu. This is it. There's no menus that they bring to the table. He just reads it off here, and he was super authentic Italian, so his English was kind of hard to understand. No, he explained so, everything. Well, he to explained us. everything, but a lot of the things were still things that I wasn't really sure of, like kinds of cheese and like I know. I recognize it, but I don't necessarily know like what it tastes like. So I just said, bring me whatever you want. Oh, this is the one. Yeah. Thank you. Grazie. Mm -hmm. So I'm just getting a whole surprise meal. So hopefully it's good. <laughs> I'm vegetarian and he's just gonna make me like a custom little dish because they didn't have anything that was vegetarian. I love it, Ellie. There he is. Oh. Okay. <gasps> Wow! <laughs> Look at that, guys. Only in Italy. It was just the two of us, and we had a really pleasant lunch. We had a lovely lunch. It was a lovely lunch. Okay, wonderful my food, conversation, wonderful food. My food ended up being great, you guys. I'm so good. Too. I would give it a nine. It was smoky. It was I good. Nine, I would give mine a nine. And it was very different. I haven't had yes. anything like that in Italy. And you could like taste that it was like freshly made, like pasta. right there in like, front you of could, us. You could tell. And it, it was, was just the waiter and like one chef. Yeah. So cool, authentic, good price. And I know that we were meant to be there. There's only like yeah. five restaurants open in this town. And everyone else was at one of them and we were the only people that only ended up people. going to that restaurant. There was only one other party of two there. So yeah. we that's your sign. There. We're but meant now, to be. We can't find our sweet treat place. No, nope. we're manifesting a sweet treat and we're trying to get back to the group, one. but we're just having a good wholesome lunch. Having a great time. Thank Besties. you, Prato. Additionally, Prato is known for being a recycle hub, specifically for cashmere. So we got to visit this factory where 
pretty much all of the cashmere clothes in the world are sent. People then sort through these by color and they're able to turn these old sweaters and tops and skirts into new fiber to be re-sewn into new articles of clothing. And the man who owned the factory also owned this huge warehouse. This is not a store. This is literally his personal collection of vintage clothing, signs, car parts. It was so epic. I've literally never seen anything like this. It wasn't for sale. Literally just his own belongings. Never seen anything like this in real life. Like you see this in... So, finally getting my sweet treat. I should have got Cremino today. Just think of it. <laughs> Literally. But I got Stracciatella. I'm trying to try all the flavors I don't usually get. I was getting strawberry and lemon a lot. But I got Stracciatella today. Come here, flaky girl. <laughs> At one point, I did have full intentions of going. Cheers. Cheers. But... I kind of forgot the alarm aspect. That was just something that wasn't a registering in my brain. She's sick, as you can tell. Hi, guys. We just got home. I had a really great day. Like, really awesome day. I was not expecting to like Pronto as much as I did. But I thought that it was such a cute, quaint town. And... I don't know, like everything about everywhere reminded me of someone today and I just feel like I had one of those days where I'm like so reminded that your heart is the same like wherever you go and that you can think about people and miss them no matter where you are and I just like see so much of my family and my loved ones and my friends um, in all the things I do here and so it was just a great day. I just talked to my big Allie for an hour. I just walked around. I try to call her like once a week-ish and just kind of get the scoop and catch up for a bit, say hey. I'm also realizing that this like new chapter that we're entering of like 20 somethingness takes a lot of effort and friendships and like it really shows you who your true friends are and you have to like, I guess, be the friend that you want to have as well. So um, yeah, you know? It's been good, it's been an awesome day. And I think I'm gonna end this vlog off here actually. We're going to Rome tomorrow for the day. We ended up not going to London. We, The tickets went up too much and there was another airstrike happening today. So we figured we didn't want a chance losing money a second time around. So we're gonna go to Rome tomorrow and I'll vlog that separate for you guys. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy it. It's been a great week here. Can't believe that we're getting down to the last few. But thank you guys for sticking around. I really just feel God moving in my life so much right now. And I feel so content and happy and fulfilled here um, in ways that like I just never was prepared for. So thank you guys for all your love. I appreciate all your comments. And I will talk to you in my next video.